guess we're starting one minute late <laughs> because our, our meeting last week, uh, last time was interrupted. Uh, our, our recording of it was interrupted several times because another group was trying to use the same Zoom account, another committee here in town. So that hopefully has been worked out. Um, and here we are. It is Wednesday, February 15th, and we are calling to order at 5.16 p.m. <laughs> Present are uh, Russ French, Lee Whitcomb, Roxanne Parent, and Laurie Lucier. And first order of business is to um, look at the minutes from our last meeting on the first. Mm -hmm. Am I a motion? Accept as read? Yes. Second? I, second. Okay. Any further discussion? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So we voted. <laughs> yep, we'll just sign one of them. Three days in a row of this. How did I get so privileged? Okay, let's start the call. Let's back to Lori. Okay, uh, next order of business, new mail and invoices. I did receive a, uh, I had a talk with Jerry Tuwati, T-U-O-T-I, at the Ethics Commission. Uh, Monica uh, Brookman had, <clears throat> excuse me, had forwarded our letter to him. And he called back and he said, answered the three questions that I had posed the first being, in the interest of solving any occurrence or appearance of favoritism, may a board hire an independent qualified outside contractor to value the board member's properties? And he said, yes, absolutely. There's no conflict of interest there. He said, not a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, two, can a letter reporting to be from your commission requested by a board member and presented to the board as a decision on a question be withheld from the public record. And he said that, yes. Well, um, I didn't understand that question. Basically, your letter yes. that you read parts of. Yes. Yes. Can that be withheld from being entered into the minutes? Oh. And he said, yes, it can. He said, actually, even though I wrote as, as chairman of the, the Board of Assessors, he said each correspondence is considered to be private between the individual yes. and the commission, mm -hmm. and therefore... No problem with that. Right. Uh, should I choose, I can enter mine into the record. Right. And can an assessor comment on or lead a discussion of value of their own property? He said, no, of course not. We do that. Mm -hmm. But so we can absolutely go ahead and continue with our. Well, that's not actually correct because we cannot decide that. We cannot have a discussion. And we, we can't vote on it. We can vote to hire an outside contractor. Yes, we can. I have mine that says you can't. So another lawyer said you can, and I'll give it to you. So that's a problem. She says we definitely can't vote on it. We can't decide on I it. I spoke about that. I know, but I'm just telling and you. And I said, what was your According question? According to your interpretation of Amy Mee's letter, mm -hmm. the board cannot mm -hmm. consider any such process uh, as bringing in an outside contractor to value the board members' properties or even discuss it at a meeting. Right. Although many towns rely completely on outside contractors to collect data and value properties. Mm -hmm. And I said at that point, um, well, I think they have a conflict of interest in what they're deciding. <laughs> 
Uh, well, we'll have to send copies of both letters in again and say, please help us understand the two answers. But we don't know how, what the question was. Right. Well, she kind of listed what the questions okay. were. Okay. And it says, you may not participate in this matter as it disqualifies qualification appears to be shared by all members of the board. It just, I think, it, well, we got, cannot participate in the valuations. No, no in any and just even to vote to decide to have it done. Well, we would have to vote if we decide we're deciding to get a contractor in to do the whole town. Uh, it's that, the only way but, that process can go through. But this and is it is done. I'm just saying what she says. There's no discussion we can well, have. Well, we can make this easy. We can have the select board, select board vote to hire that for the assessors to hire a contractor. The select board can make that decision. Yes, they can. Um, she told me they can't. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I think we've got to get another ruling. I that. guess we had better, I mean, based on one two full letters. Because they're voting on what our decisions in the assessor's office is supposed to be. So you have to go. She was saying you have to go. To the town lawyer, and they have to file with did the, the Did the town lawyer not review what you were saying? She had seen the preliminary yes, copy did. of my letter, yes. Okay, but then they have to file with the state to get permission to have a, what did they call it? I hadn't just read this, so I'm not exactly sure where it is. Uh, a rule of necessity. Yes. Which is through the state. Yes. And so you have to appeal to the state I to get that. the rule of necessity to be able to vote on it or do anything as, okay, let me read it. If it is determined that the board of assessors may use the rule of assess necessity, then you may proceed to address the question about assessments of the assessor's own homes. So you have to get a rule of necessity but that doesn't. Yeah, the, the the town council talked about that. Okay, and felt that it did not necessarily apply in this case. This is what the lawyer right. sent me. Right, but that doesn't sound like it, it's referring to an outside contractor. It sounds like assessors assessing their own homes. Right. No, it was anything to do with it. It's just. Each assessor needed because we are voting on it and discussing it. So we can't vote for anything for our own homes. And I guess my other question is who's paying for it? It will come out of the valuation funds. What I guess my feeling is why should the town's money have to pay for our assessments when in the past it's been done by the board for each other's homes? Yes. And now all of a sudden you chose not, you don't want me to assess it as I was elected to be part of this board. Yes. And now you want the town to pay to have, um, which I looked into some other, other ones and they're about $500 a piece. So that's another $1,500 to have our properties assessed. To solve a problem. What is the problem? You didn't want us to do yours. I wasn't an assessor at the time. And I told you at that meeting, if we're going to do our homes, we're going to do our homes. But when I was an assessor, I had the also, right to say no. You also have the, the problem, the issues with your families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they have the right to say we can't come in as. But they can't. What? So Ross is going to assess his own house because. No, he was going to do that. No, no, no. Lee and I yeah. assess it. Mm -hmm. But we would go in and inspect. But, but under normal conditions. But you, but again. Kate doesn't want Roxanne to come into the house. So I don't have and, to. If so you and Lee cannot, or you, the two of you could not assess it under normal circumstances. Exactly. If he chose, if you, Rush, you choose not to have us come in the house, that's your well, choice. I, I think we should get this straightened out. Yes, first. yes. I, Whether I, or not we need to invoke the rule did of you necessity. Provide, did I give you this? No. Let me make sure, sure I have a copy of that. I don't know. I, th I think that should get straightened out. Before we can make copies. Okay, this is a copy? I believe so. I think okay. I have another one. Let's double check. Um, I think I made a copy of it. I have it as an email anyways. I don't have another one. I guess that was a copy. All right. Um, I will send another inquiry. Hmm. 
Yeah, when I spoke to Donna Nicholas, she talked about the rule of necessity. So that means you have to go so to the state. Aware of it. You have to go to the state. That's what the process is. And to get if it needs to be invoked. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's I, what we'll I, do. I mean, I guess I'm, you're putting a lot of effort into not having me come and assess your home. And that's what my, I guess my wondering is. I was well, voted were, in for the town yes, to be an assessor. Mm -hmm. And I did reach out to, since we're talking about, oh, I have another one here, um, to Laura Aldrich about- Lauren Aldrich, you know, our, our local advisor. I wasn't qualified to do assessing because I only did course one-on-one. -on -one, mm -hmm. And she says that is what the state requires. Mm -hmm. So I am qualified you, to, do, to do assessing. You're qualified to participate in assessing, yes. To do assessing. Not singly. Well, we're no. not supposed to do right. it singly. That's right. But you're stating I'm not qualified because I only passed. Well, you haven't had any residential value courses or anything else. You've had the introduction, which is exactly what that is. And uh, we're trying to help you along with more of the information. Yep. And that's all of the good. That's fine. I'm looking forward to all more um Experience. We had, we had two good uh, good visits yesterday. But that so doesn't mean I'm not qualified. And I just want to make that clear. Okay, I agree. You did pass 101. Mm -hmm. And she did recommend some more courses if chose when they come up to continue on, which I will certainly do if they're available. Yeah. Did you take other courses? Well, I, I, taking, took, I took the longer one. Yes, taking the 101, time. we yep. had. But that was had, still uh, the same course that I took. Oh, but it was so embellished. It, it has so vastly much, uh, 10 times yeah, more was. information because you were in a class mm -hmm. for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. And you were they were presenting all kinds of examples and you were talking with other assessors and there was a, just a great deal more information and, well, I, I and had detailed pro procedure going on too. Well, anyways. I got the same information and that was the course they're doing. That's what they're requiring now. Yes. So I, I don't know if it was, if, if Lee was, I think she was more saying, not that you're not qualified, just that you're not, it's, it, it's not the, the word I'm looking for, um, experience. Yes. No, you that's, a, that, that would be fine, but she did say I'm not qualified and she stated it in our meeting. So I just want to clarify that, that. I am qualified. Passing, the passing 101 qualifies you for classification. And I feel it to be an introduction to evaluation. But as Lauren said, uh, we follow what the law says. Okay. I'll follow through with that this week. Um, invoices. We have two invoices. One is simply a quotation, actually. It's not an invoice. We get this every year from ESRI, which is the company that provides uh, the back, back, background, the underground, under, under, <laughs> underneath mapping program for the website. ESRI does the maps for the United yeah. States, basically. And you have to have an annual um, subscription in order to use their serv services as the base for our mapping. So where's the price? It's always been four hundred dollars per year. Oh, here we go. It's gone up ten percent to four forty. I know everything's up ten percent. It is for ten years. We've added it four hundred. So what we do is uh, our option today is to accept or reject this quotation, and if accepted, they will then send us an invoice for payment. Yep, and I just have to find that, yes, we are tax exempt. This is what we send back in. It includes the price and the statement about exemption. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so, so we can use the mapping. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the program that underlies uh, basically all assessment mapping, probably, certainly in the state. Mm -hmm. Is that what the same thing that is connected on our website for mapping? It's it's the basis of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
that way the mapping companies like cartographic and uh oh, it's the one we used to have don't each have to have their own set of roads for example and highways and they can't be different from one another s3 provides the base for all of them yep so so why do, so each town has to pay for it no, no, they have a mapping system, yeah. Well, I move we go ahead and accept it. Accept the 440? 440, yeah. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have any further discussion or questions? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 All three. Okay, so we'll just circle this one, okay, for our purposes. And two, fifteen, twenty-three, and then I will say, "You got to sign off on the last page." Yep, you do. Okay, whoops, we are tax exempt. Right on that surface. Okay, that one's done. Wonderful. The um, we go on initial this up this one. Oh yes, please. Mm -hmm. And this is our contract with Cartographic, CAI, well, the CAI Technologies for tax map maintenance for the calendar year 2023. And it includes their usual list of services, index services, GIS, um, our, client, our responsibilities, the documenting process, timing costs, so on and so forth. Their contract is for $2,100, which I believe is the same as last year, and an additional $20 per building added or change. Mm -hmm. Oh, so if there's a new house to put in, it's an additional $20 or new barn. Wasn't it 15 or 18? It was last 15 year? last yeah, year. So it's, yeah, but I think the 2100 is the same as last year. How many changes do you think we'll have? Well, um, I like to figure on 10, but we get billed afterward. You know, so I would I would guesstimate and say I'd be, love to be able to put, do 10 and stop at 10. Oh, and then you just wouldn't put them in? I'd try and have a better budget for them next year. Oh. Yep, keep trying. Or we could decide is there, to... Is there a minimum of minimum value no. to the building that... I mean, we like, we've like, never had like, one like the three hundred dollars shed. Does that count right? That, does that count? If we put it in, it it would, but we don't. Usually, we do just houses, barns, large outbuildings. When they were originally done, we had all the sheds in there, and they've stayed. At that point, there was, there was no extra charge for that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we we looked at how many sheds this year. Oh yeah, but how, what about even removing one? Did it say removing also? Is it says changed. Right. Added or changed. So, so if something something was demolished, yes. Right. So we've had quite a few things that had to be looked at already mm -hmm. this year. We can change, we can add or estimate this figure out to anything we want right now because our budget hearing is on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And so we can oh. have time to change our estimates before then. So I think you need to look at our list for new growth. Yep, and uh, come up with something. We have an average over the over the last five years of how many changes we've made a year. 
No, I don't haven't calculated it out. Last year we did it used $180. So that was 12 properties at $15 each. That was the bill we paid. So that would make this 240 at $20 each. Right. Now it's interesting. Actually, the actual contract, they left the old 15 in. Ooh, maybe I should figure get that sorted out. Franco, do you mean 15 or do you mean 20? I like 15 better. <laughs> well, I would like to see what we already looked at for new growth and okay. what that would add up to be. All right, good. I'll table that. I'll find that well, with him. We can't really table. Oh, we well, have to decide. We that's right. We have to decide budget. if we want a, an increased amount in the budget. Yes. Do you have a list of our new growth? Or no? I have, yes. <laughs> the places we went to, yes. Right. And still. Need, Need to. to see. <laughs> oh, actually, I put it over there. Because if there's more, then we want to put that in the budget. Yes. Okay. Uh, drinker, that would be a change because that's a new addition to the building. Martyr, I'm two. Crane has changed significantly. Mm -hmm. That one didn't change as of the first. That's a new house, new barn. Okay, five. Well, I don't Mr. want to interrupt Smith. your counting, but just changing the house, does that have to be added in? Well, you know, if they just. We'd like to have the. If we prefer to have the proper shape or size because it's also used on the emergency maps. We you derive it from that and for fire and so forth to I mean so the two we went to the other day were both major changes. Yes, I major changes, yes. but I'm just saying if somebody did for new growth if they changed something. Right, or added a deck or something right. that doesn't right. Um new sheds and all that. We've had a couple of good sheds. And barns. No, they didn't do anything. That's nothing from new. Okay, this is new this year. That's a new one this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually put in pool. We put a P where the in the ground swimming pools are because they're a potential water source for the fire department. I have to mention that to my husband. Um, maybe I can get my pool. Uh -huh. They don't well, use my pond as a considered as a water source. Well, well, considering that the swimming hole is right behind my house, I don't think. Yeah, I'm, and I'm surprised at my end of town. They don't. They did yeah. at one point, and they decided not to. Oh, oh, okay. It was a dry hydrant put up anywhere up in the north end of town? I think there's talk of it now, but I have 14 right off this list. Mm -hmm. So 20 is not well, uh, I realistic. Think you budget for 20 at least. I don't think. I, don't I agree. Twenty is going to be may not be enough. I don't. know. Well, I think it's a reasonable figure. Building changes. I'll get the exact figures from him tomorrow. Whether we'll are 15 or 20. Hmm. Then you can change the budget. Yes. Yep. I'm going to update that accordingly. And then we'll be able to uh, approve this or whatever at the next meeting. Approve what? The contract that he said. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that will take care of that. Our, our second next meeting, probably. Well, I mean, can you actually not approve that contract? I mean, you can't not no, we can't. have them. But I don't want to sign it until it's clear how much we're paying for each change. On the contract page, it says 15. 
I know. This Contract's a contract. Temptation there. If you signed a contract that says 15, uh, then 15 is. Also, they it's a bill too, so it's a conf conflict. They sent a bill. It, was it a bill or was it a letter? It's a, a letter. letter. It's a, it's letter. a contract letter. Mm. But the contract itself. Well, mm. it's easier just to question it before you sign it. <laughs> I'd rather sort it out. Mm. We keep a very good relationship with them. I mean, they, they do a lot extra for us. <laughs> and all of our consultant time with them is free. I use that pretty heavily. Yep. Okay, recent sales. We've had one sale. It was the transfer of David McCle uh, David Fisher and Anna McClay's property to David. Uh, no value. Mm -hmm. A simple record of the transfer. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and new listings. We do have one new listing. Oh, nice. Thank you. What? Getting this done up uh, right up here on the corner toward the post office. It's asking two ninety nine. Our current value is two twenty six. There are the usual forty two photos of it, and there's been work done on the downstairs recently. So we have a good overview. I hope we'll be able to have an interior visit at some point. But this is our newest listing, and new permits. Lots of people planning spring work or starting or uh, I'm going to pass these around this way if you don't mind. I haven't many. seen them myself. Huh? Once I sorted out the the, um, the bad search that it gave me, there really wasn't that many. Yeah. They were actually issued. Okay. Okay, fixing it. Oh, post office is going to remove the little old the antique shop. <laughs> the dilapidated shed. It is a dilapidated shed. Yes, it is. That's exactly what it says on the permit. Yep, they're right. And St. Mark's is having some work done. Oh, there. I didn't. Are we supposed to be signing each one? I'm, I'm just initialing them, yeah. Because oh, I mean, sometimes it, we do, not, sometimes we don't. Yeah. Well, it's not required. It's just okay. Yeah. The church is insulating the walls, attic, and basement. Okay. Oh, is that what I did say? Oh, I said that one. Oh, saw that one. I didn't sign it. The metal roof, you know? Oh, thank you. Couple of, you know, solar, but it was solar, yeah. Yeah. They're putting in two dishwashers, two kitchen things. First floor, second floor. Sounds it. Hmm. Yes, because they're the, um, but it former been the formerly been the little apartment for an au pair or a household aid or something like that oh. is being kept and redone. And that did have a kitchenette in my side. Mm -hmm.
We also have the list of January uh, transfers, actions from the Registry of Deeds. And there were three, none of which were actually outside the family. Oh. Mm -hmm. And all ones that we've previous, previously yeah. had. Yeah, we'd seen the actual deeds themselves. So we'll just have another list to confirm it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you want me to sign in? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, permits, yes. Yeah, they're not on there because there wasn't anyone. Right. But other business. Yep, absolutely. Um, next on our list is... Uh, New growth and any other data changes plus visits and values, and they kind of merge together. Mm -hmm. And so we have the calculations that we had done. Um, but I didn't get to all of them this week. Let's look at, okay. And this is when we also wanted to do comparatives. I'd like to hold these for a couple of weeks, make sure I've got them all up to date. It's been the week when we had to do the, the town report and everything else and uh, get going with the, well, I'll tell you about this. The um, watershed, land for the two towns that's in Conway is eligible for taxation, not taxation, for a payment in lieu of taxes from the towns to the town of Conway. And in going over it with the town council, she told me exactly, essentially what to write. But I've, what I've done is go ahead and do up the calculations and it would come to close to $15,000 a year of revenue that we don't currently receive. And so, um, so that would be Northampton and Deerfield. Northampton, right, right under Chapter Fifty Nine, Five uh, D. And so, I'll be drafting a letter to them, saying that under the provisions of this particular uh, clause, we're notifying them that uh, um, a bill or a statement, I think, is a good way to put it, will be sent. Uh, as of on July 1st, but we're notifying them ahead of time because it's now budget setting season so that they can. So we weren't doing this in the past. We, we many, many years ago, 30 years ago, it, it was being done and then it was dropped. And I don't know why. Um, I think the responsibility might have been turned over to the selectmen at that time, <laughs> but we're talking decades ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we're picking it up again. Does the state set the fee or no? It what, simply what is it, says per acre is no. It's an amount equal to that which the city, which we would receive in taxes, upon the average of three years valuations. So we take this year and the last two years, we average the valuations, or we 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 average the taxes that would have been paid in those years on those years valuations. Well, and what it, what is it that is it a, is it like a sixty one? It's valued as unbuildable land. Yeah, so one thirty two. Yeah. So no road frontage, no. Road Even though it has road frontage, no all kinds of road frontage, thing. it's simply okay. unbuildable land, like a land and conservation restriction, is valued. And so yes, so the taxes, which would have been levied on those three properties on those on, the, on those three years sorry is averaged to be what was requested this year and, and that then, continues and can, oh it continues mm -hmm. it? next year i'll average the last three years oh okay yeah i wrote it all out in a chart which will be sent to them mm -hmm. with the letter so this is uh basically letting you know that this was requested and we're following through with it. Yep. 
And there we go. I believe Veronique will be sending them the notification mm -hmm. as town administrator. Yeah. Okay, property record card presentation. We haven't had a chance to get together on that. Uh, other business. I did pass my conflict of interest law. Mm -hmm. Got the certificate to prove it. What do you do? Um, with regard to getting back out to regular cyclical visits, wait a minute, where did I? I jumped over abatements. On vehicle abatements. That's what I was saying wasn't on the agenda yep. and has to go under other business. Okay. Cool. Because we didn't have any when I did the agenda. All right. We're pretty well up to other. Oh, we can sign this abatement for the Harlows, which we had voted previously. And um, we just didn't have the certificate done. Right. And a summary. I put them both. Oh, okay, I they're here. Them. Yep. I the, put them both together. The property oh, yes. to match that. I do, but not right at hand. Because I, I, I think we should. I'm, I'd like to review those to make. To I thought you guys re, you reviewed it a couple of meetings ago. We and did agree with the changes. We voted and, that we would remove all the brickwork. Right. Um, the, but the point is, I'd like to see the changes. The new property card with changes. That's all. Well, I can show you the property card that. Or no, where. I wrote the calculations of the changes in here, mm -hmm. which is on our application for abatement that we have to sign. Mm -hmm. And that's what supports the figures here. I understand. Okay. But I mean, I like to see the property card in, in just um okay. Do that. Very good. So we can we can do that. Yeah, we can. Went to the transfer station forum just as a point of interest. The information is here if you'd like to read it or if anyone else would like to. It's on the website to. also. It's on the website too. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. It was basically about a payment, pay, pay as yeah. you go system instead of the present one with simply an annual sticker. And uh, so they talked about that. It didn't really, end, did not end up having anything to do with assessing, but um, we went and got the information. Another part, interesting thing came up um, as part of the North Poland Road Bridge work. In going back to the definition of the road and, and the parcels, and particularly where it crosses here, the state seems to think that they own this parcel between the bridge and the Dale and Mary Parsons. And so I worked my way back to 1940 when they did indeed buy the land under the road from 116 down to here. Uh, they bought it from Frank Burnett as a fee simple. Uh, it was a taking through the county for $50. It and it wasn't, it wasn't a public road at that time. It was, it was, it was a town road, but it was done to repair and replace the road after the 38 hurricane had washed it all out. So whether it's, I believe it was an actual fee rather than an easement, it's not listed as an easement at all, which means now that the, I have to change our maps to have that parcel uh, become an individual parcel instead of the road and show it as owned by the state. Hmm. It's a real curiosity and the deed is here. Yeah, but... Uh, so that so would they, be they own the land under the road. So it would seem, yep. Yep. That's uh, different, isn't it? Yeah, a real curiosity, as I say. That's a... Now, how much of North Poland Road is that? But didn't you say they were saying they owed a, another parcel? They right? think they own a parcel across from beyond this, which I believe is beyond this. Right. So I have to lay this out against the existing road measurements. And see where it comes out, mm -hmm. and see if they believe what they believe is true is true. They made no reference to the river in their description. I don't see anything about the nothing, river. which makes me think that it ends on the north side of the river before you get to it. 
No, that doesn't have anything to do with it. That's no, no. I was just using the back okay. of that. Great. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and getting back to hopefully some regularly scheduled visits, as well as picking up our new growth later on, later on. We talked about it briefly when we were out the other day about kind of trying to schedule Tuesday afternoons on a regular basis and maybe one Saturday a month mm -hmm. to go out for people who could not be around during the week. Um, how doable does that sound? Can I start sending letters that saying we'd like to come on Saturday or on Tuesday, the what's whatever is? I'd, I'd like to check Saturday. So, okay, it's available. <laughs> yeah, Tuesdays is usually pretty good. Mm -hmm. As far as you know, I never know. Yeah, I know. Um, were you able, because we were talking about trying to go and see the homes that were not 100% complete. Right. Did you put a list together? I mean, yeah, there's a list. You know, you have a list of them? I, I do. I haven't, you know, it's, I'm used, reusing this list, basically. Well, that's not the list of all the homes in town. With the... Oh, the, oh, the percent completions. Yeah. Oh, no, not yet. But that certainly will be. Because I kind of emailed you to get, see if you could get that together. I had too much else going on. Um, and then my my other thing is um, I've requested several times to get a list of the codes and descriptions. And I've asked you to sit down with me and show me which codes. I mean, right on this on this one list alone that we have out here for the public, we have six lists of codes. You know, and there are still others. And so, and I don't know, Lee. How many times have I sent you a copy of what I wanted, and you says, "Yeah, I understand. I've got emails. They're probably filed with the town here as to what." And you say codes. I do, and I even should sent you what I said, and you says, "Oh yeah, I understand now, and I'll get it ready for you." I don't know what's so difficult on a property card. The codes. These are the codes on the property cards. Let's see, I got it right here. No, all the ones on the side. Because I don't even, I have to ask sometimes, what does this one mean? Right here. All these on the side. Oh, how many the I've, codes I've on, the, on the that. drawings? I've asked you that. I sent you a copy and Fine. said, this is what I want. The codes on the drawings. Yes, and you said there's a whole lot of them and we don't yes, use them are. all. And I was asking for the ones in town that we use and their yes. description and the values to go with that. This is what I read. And I even asked Lauren if I could get it from the state and the state does not put this out. This is from no, Tyler. Tyler. And she says that I should get be able to receive this and I should be able to... Um, well, here's the start of it right here. I had given you this. Yes, but it's not complete. It has the code. It's not complete. It has the description. Mm -hmm. It has some of the values. Some of the values, yes. Yes. I said, but it's not complete. This is all of the ones that are used for drawing a house. No, here I'll show you. I gave that to you several months ago, I think, or a couple months ago. I know, ago. and I've been asking for the complete, like all these, we use some of these. Yes, we do. So there's no... There aren't any available on the on the chart for me to see. What, what aren't available? Where it has zeros here. Or nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't take anything away there. It printed out from Tyler exactly like this, with no figures provided. So how do you get the figures to put in there? It puts it puts them in automatically from the description. So it's going to be a matter of going from this description. From this description. Yes. So it should be in the computer system. Somewhere. So Tyler should be able to um, give us those figures, because that's what they're going by. Well, it's in our program. Other towns may have changed them. So have, we have to look in our program. 
Because I, I was told right. that now, Natalie... now that I have it in my head precisely what you want, I will have it for you for next Wednesday. Great. That's, I've been looking for it for months. I mean, I'd like to have this. I thought I had given it to you. I mean, with, the, with this. No, I think we discussed at our other meetings that I would request this. And we talked about, I would like the information just so when we're talking about going over property cards and what we're doing, I know. But if I give you one figure, Mm -hmm. That's only for one condition or one eight size range. I understand that. Okay. I do have enough know okay. what's going on that I can figure that one, out. One figure is not going to apply to every every property, certainly. No, there. This is average. And then you want it, the average. Yeah. For the average, okay. Now it changes. For example, on a one story house, the figure changes. If it's an 800 square foot or if it's a 1,000 square foot or if it's a 1,200, 14, those are all different figures. Yep, but it's an average that you can So you by. want the one for each size range? No, nope, just... Okay. Well, this one, you, well, Lee, then how does how do they come up with and put that price in there? I don't know which price they chose. I'm presuming it's, it's what is that for? Just for... Finished main area. Yeah, mm -hmm. so how do they come up with that price and put that in there? They figured it out from some sort of a costing situation. They put it in. So that's kind of the, the idea of what I want. It's, they must have had it somewhere to come up with that value. Okay. I'm not going to give you codes that we don't use. No, I don't want codes we don't use. Good. That's why these were other shorter lists. Yeah, there's several lists well, that's here, the but we don't, page of this one. we don't use half of them. Right. I mean, this was all the... All of the detached structures, pretty the, much all of them. The, the ones we use, I would like. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next Wednesday. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Um, I'd like you to, I made three copies of the town report to be filed on Friday. Like your thoughts, suggestions, so, corrections? Yeah. Mm, there's one right there. I wish you would have sent me this earlier so I could think about it. Well, you can, I have up until tomorrow night to make changes. Mm -hmm. well, so you I want to change. I'm just trying to understand it all. I just made two minor changes. So the town's expenses went down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were able to pay lots more from free cash. Mm -hmm. Any other revenue that dropped? How come that dropped? Um, Twenty-two. I mean, it dropped yeah. considerably, almost, yeah. almost a million dollars. What, yeah. What did we? What did what got cut? We did not have as much in motor vehicle excise as we expected the year before. I think we had had a property sale. Um, state aid changed. We did not have to use winter roads either year.
I can send you the file, the digital copy, and uh, you know, at, at home, if today or tomorrow or something, if you'd like to make any changes, you just make them in a color. Not that I want to change anything. Yeah, it's just that or no wording or anything. Yeah, yeah. just you know, it's a little hard. Yeah. To comprehend everything at the last minute yeah. it's the same formula form up here that we've used every year i've done it the same way i understand yeah, but so it's which is new to helpful. me it's all new to me yeah the people reading the town report will you know say okay this looks familiar just new numbers mm -hmm. space there Larry, would you have a look at this too, please? I don't like that good. I have three of my hands right. I know. <laughs> You'll either be inspired or depressed. <laughs> I pretty much finished mine yesterday, except yeah. for a couple of names to put in. Well, that was nice to know. Why would the number of single family parcels drop? Some, some were changed. Some were changed to uh, two or... family. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, somebody added one or two added an apartment, and also some of them went into chapter. These are only the single families that are not in chapter, okay. which makes it a really ridiculous figure in many ways. Yeah. No, it isn't. I'm sorry. This it does kind of include the single families that are in chapter. We, but it drops because um, we had one burn hmm. and we have uh, several that become something else. Like a one oh one oh four, a two family house. Two family or rental. Yes. Yeah, rental doesn't matter, but. Uh, just have, what's the rank rank in the state? Out of three hundred fifty one towns, yes. ours is the one hundred seventy ninth. As far as how's it? What do we rank it, in? High, high, uh, highest tax rate is number one. Oh, we're as far down as one hundred seventy nine. We're just about absolutely in the middle. Okay, mm -hmm. of those tax rates in the state. Okay, mm -hmm. we stay in the middle third. The tax rates in in the region. This I I thought we I thought it was eight. That was last year. This is the year before oh, having is, to talk yeah, about. Uh, I hate doing reports for that reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was it was all about twenty two. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. That's all right. Good. Mm -hmm. And just let me just because I'm you know what's the overlay reserve. That's the overlay account that we have at the beginning of a of a fiscal year mm -hmm. to cover abatements and exemptions, personal exemptions. Oh, how come it was so low? It had got right down there that year. Hmm. So we rebuild it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in 22, of course, was a reevaluation year. So you always expect more applications for abatement in that year. So you tend to fund it high. And then if there's money left over, you can um, release it for free cash, uh, 
back use it down yeah, meeting. Put it back. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As overlay was as overlay. Okay, because that, that, that one was kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I changed wording in a couple of places and uh Can I keep this one? Sure. Mm -hmm. It won't be the final, but yeah. yeah. It gives you the information to go over. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> and we have two, two sets of motor vehicle excise abatements. This is a 22 that was um, sold or traded. And we have the plate uh, return on registration. So we're all set with the paperwork on that. It was owned for six months and um, it will be a 22 abatement. I moved to grant for six months of the figure. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye, aye. Aye. Okay, great. Supposed to be at home by six at around six thirty quarter seven. So hate to be rushing things. What do you think? Well, then let's do them all at once and just have one motion at the end. Good point. It'll save a this lot one's of very simple. There, yeah. Well, no, there, there's yeah. Okay. There, Two, there's three categories there, here. Yeah, yeah. Four rebills. Lots of signatures. Files. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, abatements from the commitment, the first commitment for 2023. We signed the warrant for it actually last time. The first four are for bills that should be sent to Hatfield because that's where the vehicles are garaged. But the business owner lives in Conway and consequently, even though he uses the his residential address apparently for registering them, they are garaged in Hatfield. We will abate them in full and send the bills on to Hatfield to be rebuilt from there. This is an annual event. Oh. I say we do this every year. Annual <laughs> event. We have one abatement in full for a 100% disabled veteran. We have four farm vehicles. Uh, the farm bills went out in the regular abatement and they have uh, presented their applications for eligible vehicles that are used only in farming or for farm business outside. Mm -hmm. And then we have two that were sold or traded. And Laurie has been over the figures and as have I. Um, many of these are, are just abated in full. It's just the last couple that have any balance left. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I'll just start in here. Don't forget the summary. Right. Oh, okay. So I'll, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, the summary gives us a total of $731.07. I, I was more referring to don't forget to sign it. I know. So <laughs> we need to vote for the bunch. As broken down here and as indicated on the individual certificates and applications, I move to grant them as this total sum and grant them individually. Okay. Have we any further discussion? No questions. Uh -uh. Okay, good. All in favor? Aye. 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 So if you're a disabled veteran, you get a um, full. Yes, yeah. he's 100% disabled. He's 100%. You have to be 100% disabled. Hmm. And uh, we have to have the certification for it. And yes, the one vehicle that you use, huh. not your wife's vehicle, it's, it's yours. And if she uses yours, it's disqualified. It's that one individual state vehicle. Yeah, because um, I'll have to let Bob, Bob know that he is. So do you want me to say? They know. That? They know? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Uh, yes, please. Down at the, no, no, down at the bottom, there's a place to sign. Oh, yeah. That's got to go to. Yeah, this, these are oh, this is like an official one. Yes, yeah. that is an official form. Right today. Okay. And then there's. Yeah, well, I'm going to sign off. Yeah. I was going to say there's 12 <laughs> certificates to sign. Okay.
or 11, sorry. You know, it was 12 altogether. Just keep them all Oh, I've just signed up. Three, oh, three of them. Yes. Yes. And we'll initial Jan's request mm -hmm. that we um, mm -hmm. do the bills to Hatfield. Well, they reissue them. Right. Yeah. But it's by her request. Right. So they did not have to apply. Oh, she requested. Her yes. Letter. So I forgot to check granted on that one. Well, that one doesn't have it. Okay, never mind. Um, I think only the farm vehicles have it. Yeah. Let me sign them back here too. Oh, yes, I missed that one. All right. Well, it's uh, another, it's a different application. A different, okay, yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was Okay. All right, so I guess. Kind <laughs> of sad when a farm that used to have four or five farm vehicles because it was still a good working farm is now down to one. But age happens. <laughs> still a beautiful farm. Oh, yes. That's Jan's request that we do those, yeah. Okay, and then this one we've already we haven't signed yet. We have anybody zooming in? Okay. Not even there. No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, in Lee's hogging, or is that stuff that's being held? No, no, that's that's fine. No, I meant in front of you. Oh, that's being held for now. Okay. Do we want to sign that? I mean, I'll sign that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I just like to see it. Oh, absolutely. You're going, to, you're going to be mailing that yes. out too. Yes. Because I'd like to see, oh, where is the difference? I mean, how did it arrive at this difference? It's there, it is. It's written out down there. It's also on the, well, it's on the certificate too. It shows what it started at, what was right. But I yep, wanted, the amounts, I was but, wondering how yeah. we arrived at that. Let me show you, so, you know, the difference. Okay, this is took off the figure for the brickwork. Mm -hmm. And multiplied it by 1.08 because that had to be added in. So it's minus 1400 mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. This is the calculation for the back porch area corrections mm -hmm. and condition mm -hmm. correction. 
there was no change for the external condition on the house based on the dings in the vinyl. We changed it to average, but it did not change the value. Oh, it didn't? No. From good to average? We, we changed it to average. I remember that. Yeah. Huh. How did that happen there? It didn't change. The... I don't know. Huh. And did you do anything with the barn? We were supposed to do uh, something with the barn. We were changing that. I need to make lists on lists. Right void on that place. Huh? Right void across that place. Yeah. So for me, just to be able to comprehend what we're doing, I like to I like to see the property cards if mm -hmm. that's possible. That's fine. Okay. I mean, it's hard to know by just uh, I'll redo a property card and make sure I have it very clear as to yeah. Which, well, I have to mail one out to her anyway. That's right. I have it, to so. have the before and after us. Yeah. So I'm sorry. No problem. So uh, would, should we discuss, are we going to get together next week? Next Wednesday? Uh, it'd be terrific if we can to work on our do we want to do personal that? exemptions mm -hmm. in an executive session to work on personal exemptions. Are you available? Mm -hmm. Are they all ready? Uh, they will be. All of them will be ready. So maybe we can just finish up those those things that need to be yes. done. Or, or we'll save them for the next week, uh, whichever it be. If we do have an executive session, it'd be great to be able to do it just as that. Okay, but we have open. to we have to be as we a, have to open in the normal fashion. Mm -hmm. Declare that, that we're going into no the no no we don't have not that even yet, to open no. it no. I, to start a recording for her to say, I call it to order. We're going into executive session. Stop the recording for an hour and a half. <laughs> open it to say, we're okay, adjourning. we're adjourning now. Closing and close session, it is, yeah. It, yeah. We do take no. minutes. There are minutes. Okay. okay. Yes. Just one. But they can yeah. be written to, or something to, like that. Yeah. To record it this way would be. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Yes. Because the business aspects of it wouldn't be recorded in any way because they're not public record. Mm -hmm. Right. Everything is yeah. confidential. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the rest we you have to we have to yeah. because we haven't really agreed on any of the things we we haven't gone over the things that we have gone to see and finished up on any of them have we we need we do have several here and I just want to make sure I have the final figures on them based on our discussions mm -hmm. and that I have it quite clear that's under the paper yeah. of the house uh, okay. perhaps a calculations page oh, or something. okay. Never mind. Copy nope, don't need it. I already have one hanging. In so the front. it's it's oh, very know. clear and can go into the file. Yeah, I mean, I like to that look way. at the property card because for yep. me, that's that's easy to see. Yep. That's fine. Okay, just that would be yep. nice if we could do that. Have that right with it. Now, do uh, we have any other business before us tonight? Anything to add? What was supposed to be other business? Just says other business. What was supposed to be added to the other business? What we just did. Oh, motor vehicle yep. abatements. I guess not. No, okay. And I will have that for you next week. Okay. Yep. Russ, nothing bad? Oh, not that I know. So okay, next so week at the 22nd. Yep. So. At 5 15. Okay. Uh, we will have a meeting and immediately go into executive session for the purpose of processing all of the personal exemptions. Mm -hmm. And we won't uh, cover any other business at that meeting. We'll hold it until our uh, next meeting, mm -hmm. first of March. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll do John. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm.